Hi team, this is your junior black belt kicking combo two. So lots of kicking this cycle to help you improve those advanced spinning kicks and jumping kicks. So this is what part two looks like. I'll show you fast first. You land with your left leg in front, you step back. So slowly, left leg lands in front. You finish your jump front kick. Then we step back with the right foot. So I step back and across to the left, almost like I'm crossing my legs over here. Now my right foot stays where it is. My left foot is the only one that moves now. To so get all the way back, looking over at the right shoulder. Land into a good stance and right low block. Keeping your left hand in on your ribs. Switch your feet, bringing your right back, left forward. One, two. My body stays exactly where it is. I'm not turning my body or turning my feet. My feet are staying that way. My body's facing that way. Once I've done that, right, left, fast. Keep on your toes here, it makes it a lot quicker. Push off that back foot, axe kick. Point your foot and your toes and land your toes lightly on the floor like a ninja. Switch, axe kick, step all the way across, all the way across so you can make it easier for yourself on the spin, jump spin hook kick or jump spin crescent. Use your arms here, jump, either a jump spin hook kick or you can jump spin crescent with your leg straight and your toes facing up. Hit them with the outside of your foot. I prefer that one, especially when you can land on two feet, it looks really cool. As soon as you've done the jump spin crescent, you land here with your legs on the straight line. You're using your left arm bent in, your right arm out, bending your legs. Jump off both legs, both feet, and throw your arms diagonally up. So you get as much height as rotation. Jump, round now skip. Tuck the bottom leg, or if you want to make it more advanced, you can straighten it out like an upward front kick to do that like Van Damme style kick with both legs straight. You land your leg across the straight line. So I'll show you that part again. Step your right foot in, left foot back, right low block. Switch your feet, one, two, axe kick. Step all the way across, making it easy for yourself. Jump, spin, kick, land on two feet if you can. That'll Come with time, lots of practice to get a lot of height on that. Then use your arms up and across, jump round now, kick and land it across. So you're showing your back to the front, turn, look over your shoulder, use your arms, that goes first, then hook kick. So you want to get that first part to the jump round now, kick really smooth first, and then work on the second part put it all together. So the second part is, after the, the round kick, hook kick, and then right leg comes up. So it's like you're trying to step over something. But as you step over it, you hop and switch your leg. Just practice that first. Right leg, hop off your left, land on your right, and bring your left round. One, hop, and bring your left round. Use your head to spin. Right leg and then hop and spin your head round and that pulls your body round. Do another hook kick straight after that. So you land straight away, hook kick, hop, hook kick. Yeah, again. So you land it across, hook kick, hop, hook kick. Now this leg's going to shoot out into a front stance. Your right leg stays straight, foot flat on the floor with your heel on the floor and then your toes facing the direction you're punching on the front foot. Punch on line with your shoulder to 45 degrees to the diagonal. So one last time all the way through. So left leg in front, step right leg first, then left leg. One, two, switch, axe kick, step, jump spin kick, land heel up. See I land and bend my legs so I'm ready to jump again. Jump, round kick, land across, spin, hook kick, hop, switch, kick, and punch. The more advanced version is you can backside 900 instead of jump round, which is a jump full 360 and kick right leg inside crescent. So when you land your jump spin hook kick, you can work on that one. That is pretty advanced. 
But work on those techniques and we look forward to seeing you in class for your second combo for your stride.